Hey, so if you're using a Mac, I'm going to show you real quick how to set up the Surfshark VPN. Now, for the price that you're paying, this is probably one of the best VPNs out there. They have 3,200 servers in 100 countries and just a lot of really good features and add-ons that even if you would pay for the add-on, you would pay for the higher plan, you'll still be getting the VPN for cheaper than a lot of other VPNs would charge you for their base plan and their starter plan. So Surfshark is just overall a really good deal. And the first step is just to go to their website over here and and get started you pick a plan make an account and sign up and I'll have a link in the description that will take you where you need to go and also give you a bit of a discount on top of that now once you have an account you just have to go into it so this is mine here and then you go over to the download app section so you start off in the home you go to the download app section and then just scroll down a little bit and you'll have all the applications that you can download Surfshark with you go over to desktop and laptops and go to the Mac OS right? You can click view. You have a few options. You can either direct download it straight. You can get it from the app store. Or if you have an older version of Mac before Big Sur, you can get the legacy app, the older version that'll be compatible with those older versions of Mac OS. Now, once you've downloaded it and you've started the installation process, you're going to be prompted to enter in the same credentials, the username and password that you used when you set up this account here and that you also use to get into your account. And then once you've entered in those credentials, you'll get a message that'll say authentication complete. And that's all there is to it. You're good to go. Your account has been set up and your VPN will be ready to go. Now, just in case you're a little bit unfamiliar here, the way this works is that you have a list of servers and you click on one of these. Sometimes you'll have more than one. If it's like a big country like Australia, you might have a few servers within that country. And then all you need to do is just click on one and you'll see in the right side panel, you're going to be connected up to that location. So let's say over here I go and I connect to Perth. Then you'll see in the right side panel I'm connecting. And once I'm connected up, I'll get some more information about this connection. And what's happened here is that everything that I'm doing on my computer over the internet, my like entire internet connection has been sent through this server in Australia. So everything that I'm doing is hidden and protected by the VPN. It's secured and nobody can see what I'm doing. Not my ISP, my service provider. Nobody will be able to have access to those records. And Surfshark has actually passed several no logs policy audits, which means that they're not keeping any personal user data or any user records local on their servers. So if any government or any agency would ever try to ask them for those records, they just wouldn't have them. And this has been verified several times by independent, unbiased outside companies. So you know that when they say they have a no logs policy, it's actually true. Unlike some other companies, which may say that they have a no logs policy, but then it might turn out in the end that they actually don't have one when a lot of user data gets leaked out over the internet. And that has happened in the past. So besides all of the added privacy and security you're going to get with Surfshark and with your connection, another benefit of having your connection sent to another country is that everything that you do on the internet will seem like you're from that country. So by connecting up to Australia, like I showed you before, now it will seem to other websites on the internet as if you're in Australia. So for example, if I went over to Netflix, Netflix would think that I was in Australia and give me access to the entire Australian library of content, all the movies and TV shows that they offer to people who live in Australia. And the same thing would be true for any other streaming service or really any other website, you'll be able to access different websites and services that are only going to be available in one part of the world. And like I started off saying in the beginning, if these are things that you're interested in and you don't want to spend a lot of money, then Surfshark is probably your best bet. The performance is really good. They have a protocol called WireGuard, which is one of the things that helps send all the information that you're sending from your computer to the internet, to websites that you're visiting on the internet, and then back to you. And WireGuard is one of the fastest out there. So overall, it's a really fast and good VPN. If you just pay a little bit more money, you can get a full on antivirus with them. And this will still be cheaper than some other VPNs, basic plans. So after all of that, what I'm basically trying to say is that that for the price that you're paying, you're not really going to get something better than Surfshark, in my opinion. And I've seen a lot of different VPNs. Surfshark is definitely the best bang for the budget VPN. But just in case you want to know about some other options, maybe you're not entirely sold on Surfshark and you want a few other options. I'm going to tell you about them. They're not as cheap as Surfshark, but they do have some other areas where they may do better than Surfshark. So, for example, NordVPN is a little bit more expensive, but it has a lot more features. It has probably, like I mentioned, the protocol with Surfshark. WireGuard is one of the fastest, but NordVPN has the NordLynx protocol, which is even faster. So 
you have the Nord links over here, and that would probably be the fastest protocol of any VPN in the industry. So I would say Nord VPN is faster than Surfshark. And also just in terms of the features you're getting with Nord VPN, this is for somebody who really wants to like max out and get the most out of what a VPN can do. You'll have that with Nord VPN. And then there's my go-to VPN, Express VPN. This is just the simplest and easiest VPN to use in my opinion. It is just really, really good, really consistent, stable, fast. It does everything you would want from a VPN, but it doesn't have all those bells and whistles. It's just like a plug and play, you know, set it and forget it type of VPN doesn't get in your way. This is the one that I personally use the most and I recommend the most. However, when compared with NordVPN and Surfshark, it is a bit more expensive. So it is a little bit of an investment. And if you're somebody who's a heavy VPN user like me, it may be worth it. But if you're just a light VPN user, then this may not be the option for you. So that's pretty much it for this video. I'm going to be sure to leave a full in-depth reviews for all three of these VPNs in the description below in case you want to find out more. And I'll also leave there some discount links for all three of these VPNs that will save you some extra money if you want to try them out. They all have a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you're not sure, you can try it out for 30 days. And then if you don't like it or you're not satisfied, you can just cancel and get a full refund. So that pretty much is like a free trial for these VPNs if you just want to test them out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helped you out. Have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one.